Parents to be often fill up a baby registry with the things they need, but sometimes it's cool to get creative with your baby shower gifts. As always, crafty Kaylin Frank shows you how to in this week's Projects You Pin. Hello everybody, this week we are responding to a viewer email I got asking if freezer paper stencils are all they're really cracked up to be. There are plenty of pins on Pinterest that claim that you don't even need to buy expensive vinyl stencils to make your own or go through all the hassle. You can make your own using freezer paper. Let's get started. First up, grab your freezer paper and create the image you wish to stencil. It's important to draw on the papery side and leave the waxy side untouched for later. Use a Sharpie marker so it's easy to see and then later easy to cut out. I choose to do three arrows. Using an X-Acto knife and a cutting mat, carefully cut out your stencil. Remember that the more detail in little parts to your illustration, the harder this will be. So when you get started, keep it simple. Once cut out, it's time to iron. Heat up a dry iron and press the stencil onto your fabric surface. You want to make sure that you're pressing the waxy side down because that's what will adhere. Once stuck, using some fabric paint, simply stencil in your design, allow it to dry and slowly peel back. Voila! In the end, freezer paper stencils are the real deal. Look at this, how cute and super affordable. Much cheaper than buying the stencil making materials they have at craft stores. And honestly, this would be a very fun way to personalize some gifts for people. You could do this on purses, hats, t-shirts, you name it. Get creative with your freezer paper stenciling. Join me next week for another edition of Projects You Pin. You never know, it just may be a project that you want us to try.